Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the match between FC Barcelona and Huesca. And in this game, Barcelona has won 4-1. It was truly a very exciting match. I am extremely excited and I am also extremely proud of the type of performance Barcelona has displayed at the Camp Nou against Huesca. There is so much that we do need to discuss when it comes to the goals, some controversial calls coming from the ref. All of that is going to be talked about in today's video. So if you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. The way that I do like to format this video is that I do like to talk about the first half, the second half, and then give my overall review of this whole game. So welcome to the family and let's get to it. So starting with the lineup. Looking at the lineup here, we can see that it is a very strong lineup coming from Ronald Koeman and many did not expect Ronald Koeman to go with players such as Lionel Messi, Dembele, Antoine Griezmann, Frankie de Jong, and Pedri on the field because this was a team that was in 20th place within La Liga. But we also do have to understand that many of these players have gotten a great amount of rest ever since that match between PSG and FC Barcelona. It has been a total of five days since Barcelona last played, so it did make sense to use these players once more on the field. We also heard before the match that Ronald Araujo has received the green light, so he was with in the squad list but for Ronald Koeman, he made the decision that he was not going to be starting in this game and feature later within the match. And now moving on towards the first half performance for Barcelona. So in the very few beginning minutes between FC Barcelona and Huesca, both teams looked extremely shaky. And as we went through those first 10 minutes within the match, it was quite clear that Barcelona needed to find the rhythm. They had to find how are they going to control the tempo of this game and just what type of game Huesca was going to be playing at the Camp Nou. That is what Barcelona were trying to figure out because it did take some time for Barcelona to move around the field efficiently 100%. And what we also did see within those first 10 minutes was Frankie de Jong playing as a center back. I think that Frankie de Jong as a center back is not a bad player. He does extremely well when it comes to ball recoveries and retaining the ball within that defensive line. I have a feeling that Koeman really is a fan of having de Jong receive the ball within that defensive line out of all of the players such as Longley or Minguesa because Frankie de Jong out of all the defenders is the best player on the ball. He is the one that demands control against the opposition. And so because Frankie de Jong maintained that defensive line and we knew that the ball were going to go into safe areas, Barcelona maintained possession. And because Barcelona were maintaining possession, eventually we did see Barcelona find their rhythm. That is basically how Barcelona's game does work. The more possession you do have, the faster you are going to be finding the rhythm. And once Barcelona did find their game, on the 13th minute after those first few 10 minutes, Lionel Messi scored the first goal for FC Barcelona and looking at this goal right again just like what we have seen in the previous game this was a golazo this was a goal where the goalkeeper had no chance on blocking there was absolutely no way no keeper no goalkeeper in the world was going to be able to stop that type of shot that Lionel Messi has displayed against Huesca it almost did look like a complete replica of the goal that he did score up against PSG and just looking at the quality of that shot many were saying in the beginning of the season that this this was a finished Messi, that this was a Messi that has completely slowed down or a Messi that does not want to represent this badge no more. But then Messi does this. He scores a goal in such fashion that completely embarrasses the opposition. And according to Opta, they have stated that with this goal, Messi has now topped the 20 goal mark within La Liga for the 13th season in a row. And not only that, right, what's so staggering about this moment here is the fact that Lionel Messi not only scored this goal in such good fashion, Fashion, but he scored this goal while doing it in a game where he did tie the record of Xavi Hernandez's total appearance with FC Barcelona. The fact that you can do this for this long and to score goals in this way, you just have to applaud a player like Lionel Messi. How can you hate a player like him? And later on throughout the match, one of the players that was greatly involved within the attack of Barcelona was Jordi Alba. He was in many opportunities where Barcelona could have scored. And so Barcelona were looking for goals. They were creating opportunities against a Huesca side that was defending very, very low. That was the game that Huesca did end up playing as soon as Lionel Messi scored the goal. Huesca said, you know what? We're just going to sit back. We're going to absorb the pressure that Barcelona is going to be bringing towards us in our own half. And we're going to defend throughout the full 90 minutes, like 99% of the time. And that was the game. That was what Barcelona had to go through. It was Barcelona versus a deep block, a Huesca side that defended in a 5-3-2, which ultimately did mean that Lionel Messi and his teammates 
teammates were going to be dominating this game and they have if you look at the average position of barcelona within the first half look at just how high that defensive line really is we can basically safely say that this is a formation that looks like a one four five or like a 1-5-4. Barcelona were completely dominating from the right side to the left side and in the middle of the pitch. Fast forward towards the 35th minute and then we did see Antoine Griezmann score the second goal for FC Barcelona. And you look at the type of goal that Antoine Griezmann has scored, right? Now keep in mind, this was another golazo. This was a superb goal, a world-class goal. There was, again, just like just like how Lionel Messi scored the first goal against Huesca, there was no way the goalkeeper or any defender was going to be able to block that shot. That was a unstoppable goal that was so meant to happen and I just felt like when Lionel Messi scored that goal Antoine Griezmann looked at that and said bet I could do the exact same thing and that is exactly what we did see Griezmann scored almost the exact same goal like Lionel Messi has displayed against Huesca and PSG and it is just such a pleasure to see a player like Antoine Griezmann play very well with FC Barcelona when he is 100% at his best he is one of the best players within the team and I think that with this 2021 new year that Antoine Griezmann is having, he, cont he continues to put out a statement where he is having this year start on a high note. And that is great to see. And looking at the type of goals Antoine Griezmann and Lionel Messi has scored, I think that this is also telling us and Ronald Koeman and the staff and the other coaches involved within the first team that this is a Barcelona team that has shooting quality. This is something that Barcelona were not really a fan of over the course of this whole season. Sometimes we have seen Barcelona overcomplicate things and sometimes we have seen them do successful one-twos inside and around the box. But there were also occasions where we just wished players such as Antoine Griezmann or Messi or Pedri or Dembélé were to shoot from outside the box because the opportunity was there. But the quality in Barcelona, in terms of the shooting, it is very much there. There is a reason why Antoine Griezmann is placed on the pitch. There is a reason why Dembélé and Messi are working very high up the pitch is because you want to be in opportunities such as these. And it quite simply does work. And then fast forward towards the 41st minute and we did see Jordi Alba execute a wonderful cross towards Frankie de Jong and it was so close, right? Frankie de Jong was so close on getting his goal which did hit the post and it unfortunately did not go in. And then I want to move on towards the 45th minute. Now, this is where everything completely goes left left for Barcelona and for Ronald Koeman because on the 45th minute Barcelona have conceded a penalty and Huesca won the penalty and the question that I wanted to ask so badly in that situation was why why is Huesca given a penalty because if you were to look at the play here there was no way the ref can say that this is a penalty because there was simply just no real contact between the goalkeeper or the number nine player there was also no contact between Serginho Dest and the forward player none of these players such as Mark Andre Ter Stegen and Serginho Dest really did do any damage against Huesca's forward and then I continued to say like why why was Barcelona given the penalty because there was because there was literally nothing that went on in that play and I want to compare right if the ref were to really call that play and say that that was a penalty I want to bring in something else that did happen in the very beginning of the match if we look at the picture here on the left area you can see that Lionel Messi was tackled extremely harsh by the number 14th player for Huesca and you can see here that this is just right outside the box and so Lionel Messi was supposed to be given a free kick at this moment but the ref did not give any sort of foul towards Huesca where Barcelona could have potentially get a free kick and maybe even potentially score a goal and then you look at the picture between what Huesca was given which was the penalty looking at these two frames here which player do you believe suffered the most and had the most contact it was Lionel Messi which is why I say it makes no sense to say that this right here the picture on the left is not a foul but the picture on the right where Mark Andre Ter Stegen supposedly fouled the, the number nine player that it's a foul nonetheless Huesca were given the penalty and they have scored and that only meant one thing that Barcelona had to respond in the second half Ronald Koeman made it very clear that this was a penalty that was never supposed to be given in the first place and so the second half was on Barcelona very much looked like they wanted to, they wanted to find that third goal and ladies and gentlemen that is exactly what we did see because on the 53rd minute within the second half we have seen Minguesa score the third goal for FC Barcelona and it came from a beautiful assist coming from Lionel Messi finally right finally 
finally we saw Minguesa, who was not even considered as a starter in Barcelona B, score a goal for Barcelona in his first season. And then going through the second half, we have seen a very settled Barcelona. I think that it was very reasonable and Barcelona really did lower their tempo, which was completely fine because throughout the second half, Barcelona gained 71% possession against Huesca. And then as we fast forward towards the 85th minute, Ronald Koeman made two changes. It was Dembélé and Pedri coming out for Martin Brethwaite and Ricky Puj. And here is where I really do want to question Ronald Koeman. What is the whole point of bringing in Ricky Puj into the game if he is only going to be playing five minutes? Because let me tell you, Ricky Puj is a player that needs minutes in order for himself to grow. And we have tried to strategize in what games and in what occasions Ricky Puj can participate on the field. And looking at this game between Barcelona and Huesca, where Barcelona were winning at that time, 3-1, and knowing that Barcelona were going to walk away with three points, if Ricky Puj only received five minutes within this game, then when are we going to officially see Ricky Puj play the full 90 minutes? Because one thing is for sure, Ricky Puj has the talent. He has everything necessary to become a Barcelona great. But if Ronald Koeman continues to not give Ricky Puj the playing time that he does need in order for himself to develop as a player, he is never going to fulfill that potential on what he could have been for FC Barcelona. And could we see this continue in the second season with Koeman? Fast forward towards the 90th minute and we have seen Lionel Messi score the second goal for Barcelona and it sealed the deal. Barcelona won against Huesca 4-1 and it did come through a deflection from a Huesca defender where it did allow the ball to go down the lower left side of the goal but nonetheless Lionel Messi was given the second goal. And now I do want to end it with this. This was a masterclass from Messi. In this game he has played his 767th game for Barcelona tying Xavi's record in total appearances and within that game he has scored a total of two goals and provided one assist. Walking away from this match, Barcelona as a collective won three points. And now looking at the table here for La Liga, Barcelona are currently in second place. They are within a total of four points behind Atletico Madrid. If you were to tell me six months ago that Barcelona would be in this position and be this close against Atletico Madrid, I would not believe you. And I believe that many people would not believe that Barcelona would eventually get into this position. Because what Barcelona has done here is something extremely impressive coming from Ronald Koeman and his players. And I do think that with Barcelona being so close to Atletico Madrid, there is a very big chance, my friends, a very big chance that Barcelona just may go into first place before the end of April. And let me tell you, if that moment does happen, if Barcelona actually reach first place before the last month of the season, this is going to be a season worth remembering because I just do not see Barcelona letting all of this hard work go down through the drain. And Barcelona do still have very tough competitive games for the remainder of the season, which is to play against Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid. But Barcelona can get this done. Barcelona have peaked and we have have peaked at the right moment in order to win the remainder of the trophies that Barcelona is currently competing in. So much to look forward to. I am very excited and very pleased with this performance. That's going to wrap up today's Barcelona post-match review. Let me know what was your favorite goal in this match. What was your favorite moment within this game? Let me know in the comment sections down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.